This year, Art One students have to accomplish a new kind of project that is being shown throughout the school in large installations that showcase the surrealist effect. This has like helped us a lot with grouping up and helping each other and asking if someone else needs help. This project is very different than what we've ever done before. We call it student-centered, so the teacher's not driving the project, the students are. We've learned a lot about like paper mache and how we can make like the coolest thing out of just newspaper and cardboard. All right, so we're doing a surrealist um, installation, which means an installation is like an entire space is transformed. Um, in the surrealist movement, you get, some people would know about like Salvador Dali, melting clocks. It's like kind of wild and crazy. It can be anything you want, but it has to have some realistic characteristics to it. So we would take you know, something that's ordinary and make it different and bigger and life size and try to create a story. And I thought that because the school is not highly decorated, that it would be really nice to have some really cool artwork to transform this, the space of the school. We're creating a tree that's on the side of a wall and it has two windows. One of them is a moon and one's a sun and they're like vice versa so the sun is night and the moon is day. Alright, so our project is kind of like a Walt Disney theme. So on our tree we're going to put like cherry blossoms, kind of like represent Mulan. And then we have Mother Willow and then we're going to have the leaves for the color of the winds from Pocahontas. And we're going to have Tinkerbell and we're also going to have then a giant book that's kind of like where all the things are popping in, like a Walt Disney fantasy theme. So we are having, we're body casting our people and we're going to paint them and put objects on the outside to reflect how they feel with emotions and the flowers and try to create a story. People will know that there's art out there, you know, that um, we're doing not just drawing and painting uh, or just ceramics. My favorite part so far is the tree, even though it is taking a lot of work, but it is really cool and I can't wait for this to end because it's going to look really wicked when it's done. Reporting for WMHS News, this is Lily Signori, Talia Blakemore, and Chris Davis.